This video is going to tell you everything you need to know to travel Paris in 2021. From where to stay, what to eat, how to get around, what to do, and if you stick around until the very end, some exclusive local recommendations. Uh, my name is Lea and I'm living in Paris since five years. What is going on guys? My name is Kyle and on this channel I make weekly travel videos ranging from guides, tips, tricks, and even some crazy spontaneous challenges. So if you are into that type of thing, make sure to smash that subscribe button and join me on this crazy adventure. Well, I'm not from Paris, I have been here a time or two, so I know my way around town and I'm excited to share that knowledge with you guys. Since all the major attractions in Paris are spread out around the city, there's no perfect place to stay, but you should definitely do your best to stay in the city center. If you can, within the highway ring that surrounds the city. There's tons of different accommodation types in this area, the cheapest of which would be a decent hostel for around $25 to $40 per night. But if you'd prefer a private room, hotels and Airbnbs can be found starting around $70 per night. There are a ton of ways to get around Paris. And while the city is fairly walkable, it's no Amsterdam. And if you want to get from one end to the other, it's going to be a trek. Thankfully, there is a very extensive metro system to help you get around town if you're on a budget. They offer single-use, multi-use, and even multi-day passes. The RER train system is another train primarily used to get between the city center, major airports, and Disneyland. Alternatively, you could rent a Lime scooter, e-bike, or even moped. There's hundreds around the city and you just scan in the app in order to ride. Uber also works great, so if you want to avoid the overpriced cabs, make sure you have that set up before you come. France is known for a lot of different foods, and I'm going to do my best to give you an overview of the French cuisines you need to try while you're here. For breakfast, find yourself a local cafe and pick up some enclairs, croissants, maybe even a baguette. Feel free to indulge yourself too and eat three or four in one sitting. You are walking everywhere after all. One of the most famous French dishes that I'm sure you've heard of is escargot. It's a cooked snail in its shell, normally served in a half or full dozen. This place, which I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce, is known for having some of the best escargot in Paris. Also make sure to try a duck while you're here. The French know how to cook a mean bird. Just look for the word canard on the menu and prepare to be delighted. Steak and fries are also another local specialty. Perfect after a long day exploring the city. For dessert, you're gonna wanna get yourself some crepes from any of the tens of street vendors you see around the city. If you've got a sweet tooth, add some Nutella to it and you won't be disappointed. If sweet pancakes aren't your thing, then get yourself some macaroons. I recommend this place called the Ladere. It has some of the best macaroons in Paris. Every time I'm here, I make sure to stop by at least once to pick up a few. There's a lot to do in Paris, and it can be overwhelming trying to see everything your first time here. My first tip is to not try to see everything. The truth is, you probably don't have time. Paris is a huge city. You need to pick and choose the activities that you want to prioritize while you're here, and schedule a few throughout the day while still leaving time for some spontaneous fun. The first day here, I would highly recommend going on a free walking tour. The one by Sandman is the one I recommend since I've taken a few in different European cities and they always have very well-educated guides with a fun group of people. If you prefer to go off the beaten path, you can always just create your own by looking at the Google or Apple Maps landmarks and making your own path or just get lost in the cobblestone streets. In case you haven't noticed already, Paris is the home of the Eiffel Tower. And if it's your first time here, you should definitely consider going up to the top, but you should not consider waiting in the line. Either show up right when it opens or buy one of the VIP packages that includes a canal cruise to skip the queue. Paris is also known for having one of the world's most famous art museums, the Louvre and it's filled with thousands of beautiful artworks. You should definitely consider going here and plan a budget two to three hours of time here. You could easily spend the entire day exploring, but unless you're a huge art fanatic, I would advise against it. Unfortunately, Notre Dame is still closed for reconstruction after the tragic fire a couple years ago, but you should definitely check out the Arc de Triomphe. One of three arches located around Europe, the other two in Bucharest, Romania, and Barcelona, Spain. Right now, it even looks a little bit different, so to tell you a little bit more about that, here's Caroline. 
The arc looks a little bit different than it normally is. Could you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, that's because of the, the textile. It's, uh, it has a very reflective surface on one side, the one that is outside. It's covered with aluminium foil. So this, uh, this means that it's not only white, it's reflecting. So all the lights of the surroundings are reflecting on the art piece. So depending on the time you come and the weather conditions, if you come in the morning, it's going to be pink because of the sunrise. If you come at night, it's going to be more orangish because of the sea of the urban lights. And at the moment, we have a quite vibrant white, very vivid, that makes it looking a bit more uh, fiery in a way. How long is it going to stay like this? It's there for 16 days. On the weekends, everything is uh, is open because the um, the whole uh, era is uh, for only pedestrians. All right. And who was the artist who constructed this? The artist is Duo. Uh, they are called uh, Christo and Jean Claude. Unfortunately, both of them passed away. But this project has already started in their mind in the 60s, and uh, it got a kind of revival in the 2017 thanks to an exhibition they had at the Bobo Museum. And now Jean-Claude died in 2009 and Christo died just last year. So unfortunately, he couldn't see his dream coming alive. <laughs> Thank you so much, Caroline. Thank you. You're gonna wanna make sure to check out the catacombs while you're here. It's an underground labyrinth that goes underneath the city of Paris and is where over six million Parisians are buried. It's a super eerie feeling walking through the tunnels, seeing the millions of bones lining the walls. Lastly, you're gonna wanna make sure to check out a wine tasting. The French are known for their wine, and even the cheap house wine does not disappoint. I'd recommend finding a wine tasting on an Airbnb experience, or create your own by going to the supermarket and picking up some supplies. I'd also like to give a last honorable mention to Disney Paris. Personally, it's not for me. I prefer to stay in the city, but I'm sure if you're a Disney fan, you're already planning on going to this one. Now, let's move on to some local recommendations. For the first one, it's a rooftop bar located right in the city called Wonderlust. And for the rest, let's talk to my friend Leah. My name is Leah and I'm living in Paris since five years. Five years, all right. And if it was someone's first time coming to Paris, is there anything you'd recommend they do? Uh, first, uh, for the museum, uh, Le Louvre. It's, uh, it's very famous in France, in Europe, uh, so it's really incredible, and normally it's free for students. Um, for the restaurant, Pink Mama, it's, a, it's, it's an Italian restaurant, uh, really famous in Paris too, and uh, it's really, really good. And for the exhibition, um, L'Atelier des Lumières, uh, it's a beautiful exhibition, and uh, if you come in Paris, you need to, to, do, to do it. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time. Welcome. Now, you should know everything you need to travel Paris in 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you gained any value from it, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining me on this crazy adventure. And if you have any recommendations of your own, let the community know down in the comments below. I will see you guys next week.